Whenever anybody is given a, uh, uh, an idea that they are mortal after all, I'm sure those people would think the way I do. When you're faced with your own mortality, you realize that your life is, is to be lived in the way that you decide you're going to live it. Uh, for me, this meant that I was going to pursue the things that were going to make me happy, that I was no longer going to worry about what other people thought, that I was no longer going to worry about being the perfect, perfect person, the perfect mother, the perfect daughter, the perfect wife. I felt that it was very important to live fully to appreciate everything around me, to be in charge of my own destiny, and by all means to reconnect with who I really was. And I'd lost sight of that. Uh, I think a lot of women do when they're raised the way I was in particular. Um, and I found that true with, with many, many breast cancer patients that I've talked to over the years. You know, they're always so busy trying to please everybody else. Um, and they're never really, you know, if you ask them who's the most important person in your life, they don't say, oh my, I am. You know, they've lost sight of, of the self that they truly are. You know, so busy trying to live up to other people's expectations of themselves. Um, so that's what I came away with. I wanted to find out who I really was and I was not, I made a promise to myself that I was not ever going to, um, deny that.